first time I ever took that apart, I really didn't mark anything down how it went and uh, had a little tough time getting things back together. But now that I'm fairly well practiced in it, of course, anytime you're playing with wood gas, I don't think you ever get real well practiced at it because it's kind of volatile stuff. Oh, uh, here's that, here's the assembly back together. We have that uh, reducing plate right here. And that slips right in. Everything is just modular on this. So that's all set there. And you can see how it goes right down on this, slips onto this grate here. And that's how the sawdust gets wedged down into the whole thing there. So it's quite an area um, of sawdust that we're, we're working there. Now this thing measures, where's my tape here? I think it's just about a foot across. Yeah, that's 12 inches across there. So um, you guys that are building these ga wood gasifiers that uh, we're used to, like flash 001s there, remember now we're only going through a little two inch diameter hole and you know what kind of uh, what that makes for heat and whatnot. So um, this is 12 inches across. It's uh, I'm guessing about eight inches. Yeah, that'll be somewhere around eight inches there when I straighten that out. So you can see that this thing is going to generate a terrific amount of heat. So don't forget now that we're we're. Uh, up and up in the ante quite a bit on this thing. Now, surprisingly, I tell you this thing. This thing measures 29 inches. Now, probably on the inside, it's only uh, and 29 inches long. It's 22 inches uh, wide. Yep, 22 wide. And it's on the tall end here, it's 20 inches, 21, 21 inches. And on the inside, of course, you reduce that now with your, uh, with your fire brick, it's 12 inches there. So there's still quite a bit of that fire brick refractory on the side there and whatnot. So, all right, let's, uh, let, let's get this thing started and show you what it'll do before I run out of momentum here. I had a, an extra light set up here so it could really set me. You know, I went up the house for a minute and checked the phone and I came back down here and forgot to turn the light back on. There we go. How's that? I'm going to move this out of the way. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is build a, uh, I'm going to cover this, this uh, piece right here. So that the uh, smoke gets pulled up through from, with the draft there. This I don't need in there. That's going to get hot. So I can feel the, the draft is already starting to pull because I've got quite a fire going in that uh, um, big wood stove there. And that started the draft on this one. What I usually do is I take, uh, let's see if I can get this thing off to the side here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. so it doesn't fall down the pit. And then I've got some pretty fine split 
bolt here that'll uh, take off pretty well. So this uh, little fire is to get the, the sawdust lit. It also helps start the start the draft through the, the back of the heat exchanger, the big plenum there. I can feel the uh, draft pulling pretty well right now through because of that other stove. So we're going to have a good start on this. There, I don't want to take care of that. Take a couple of these small guys in here. Set them right in close. Alright, and I'm going to take a little bit of sawdust and get that in there. I'm not going to start out with too much right off today. To be honest with you, this thing does have a tendency to backfire on me. So, I start off kind of, kind of slow on it. I leave a, a spot for the only half of it, but that's enough to get uh, get started. Let me uh, show what I'm talking about there. See that? So we've got a little bit of gap in there so that it can get Started. You can see the daylight coming through there and stuff. So I've got it just tapered up on one side. But it's not going to be uh, fully uh, filled up right now until it, that has a chance to, to start going pretty well. And then you just keep adding more and more sawdust onto it until you finally get it all covered up. And then you go right to town. You fill that whole thing right up and off it goes. Um, I'm going to not get that cranked up about superheating this place today. One thing I have noticed that well I was doing a bunch of work there in the winter time there a couple of years ago and it was 10 degrees outside it was 10 degrees inside here in the shop and I lit this thing off at 8 o'clock in the morning and by 2 o'clock in the afternoon the place was 88 degrees so that it had to heat up all the metal in here and and everything, all the iron that's in this place, and the floor, and everything, and so that's a that's a tremendous amount of heat in a in a couple hours. So, all right, you ready? Here we go. Nothing like the smell of propane to get your your day started. Actually, it's about three in the afternoon. So for you guys that are familiar with uh, rocket stoves and whatnot, this is a rocket stove sideways. So that's all it is. Uh, uh, but it's, it's a little bit bigger than, than what we're used to running. This one over here, I think it's about four inches on the inside of, of the uh, intake on that. And that can really get hot. So this one is uh, three times bigger than that. So we're already starting to get a, 
a decent draw. Let that cook a little bit. I'll bring the camera down so you can get a peek at what that's doing. It's already starting to draw all right. I'm pretty confident of that. If the camera's shaking when I'm holding it down there, it's only because it makes me nervous sometimes. You can hear it starting to starting to pull, starting to get that rocket stove sound. So what I'm going to do in the let that go a little more, and I'm going to add a little more sawdust to it. I'll show you what that's. on the side there where it's getting all the air it's really starting to pull pretty well through there the sawdust is starting to burn so I'm going to close this primary door and open up the uh, I can't see it, but you probably can. Okay, when you open this up and everything, it pulls, it stops that draft. So I'll put this cover back on. It means that thing needs a little more. All right, so what I'm going to do on this thing, folks, I'm going to uh, shut the camera off for a couple of minutes and I'm going to uh, let this thing heat up because it's kind of like watching gas or uh, grass grow. So uh, we'll give this thing a chance to, to get going a little bit. When I'm getting ready to fill it back up, I'll uh, come back on and we'll show you what it looks like when she's all, all uh, fueled up and, and going right to town. All right.